I missed an increase right here. And now I'm debating if I can force an increase or if I just have to frog like two inches of work and redo it. I wonder if I can fix it, but I think it'll look really weird if I tried to force an increase in here. I might just have to frog my two inches of work. I'm so sad. This is the saddest part to knitting, but I feel like this happens to me with every project. Can I just get through a project without frogging? Hello. This is the current situation. I'm on the couch and Wilfred's on my lap. And I was just working on the sleeve for the pearl cardigan, but there is a problem because I think the cuff is too wide and I think it has to do with the fact that I decided to use 40 centimeter uh, circular needles. So if you can see here, this cuff is supposed to be pretty tight, but it looks to be like the same width as the rest of the sleeve which is not what I want I'm pretty sure the problem is because the circular needle is too long so I'm going to try to switch to 5mm instead of the 5.5mm that they suggest and I'm going to redo the cuff with these needles right here because this just doesn't look right and I don't really like how it looks right now. And you can see the tension right here is super loose. This is supposed to be ribbing but it doesn't really look like ribbing. So yeah, I'm gonna have to undo and frog this. That's the cuff and that's what it's supposed to look like but mine does not look like this right now.
I thought I was almost done, but then I realized I messed up the tension here. Now there's a gaping hole where the ribbing and the actual sleeve is, and I am so angry with myself. There is nothing I can do except to frog and redo this, and how do I always mess up like this? Why do I always need to frog my work? Come on, let's get it together. cardigan I'm very excited about it let's go try it on I had the goal of finishing both sleeves today and I'm hoping to finish the body and the button band at least by Monday so that I can get started on other knits because I have two test knits that I have to do uh, I'm not complaining I'm very excited about it I'm just trying to work out my knitting schedule and plan everything out properly so I can meet all my deadlines but yes this, this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to try it on. I have like ends that I still need to weave in, so it's gonna look a little silly, like especially this. Oh, these things are nice. Although it looks really funny because it looks like a cropped cardigan, which is not exactly my style. But I think I need the rest of the body in order to get a good idea of what this will look like. Also, my t-shirt looks so dirty and it's not even my cat this time. It's actually from the Noro yarn. Let's go finish the body. It is the next day now and yesterday, what did I do? I finished both sleeves and I was working on the body of the cardigan. So, so itchy working with this yarn because then there's like fibers like everywhere. But anyway, this is the sleeve. It looks super short, but I promise you it fits. And then under here, this is the body, which I worked on yesterday. And now I'm starting on the ribbing right here if you can see like this section right here so this is what i've been working on since last night and today is friday and i have the goal of finishing this by monday and by finishing i just mean like at least knitting is done buttons and everything like that i can do that later uh, but i really want to at least finish knitting this Tonight, I'm gonna spend a lot of time just watching TV and knitting the ribbing and then hopefully starting Saturday and Sunday I can get the button band done and the reason why I'm scheduling two days for the button band is because I have a lot of plans this weekend So if I can organize my time between the button band and my plans that I've already had in place Then that'd be great if I can find a button downtown on Sunday because I'm meeting my friend downtown Then I can just sew it on and then on Monday I can block it and it'll be done by Tuesday But yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping to finish the ribbing tonight and then do the button band by Monday so wish me luck
I've officially set up where the buttonholes are going to be, which are the blue ones right here. And then I also have where the buttons are supposed to be, which is on the other side, because I hate it when I have to figure out where I'm supposed to sew on the buttons. When I have it like this, it's great because I can just sew it on exactly where I marked and I don't have to do any thinking. So this is perfect. I just arrived downtown. I'm on Queen Street about to go to Trillium Buttons because I want to find buttons for my Pearl cardigan. I'm meeting my friend downtown today anyway, so I might as well just go stop by at Trillium Buttons and see what I can find. But this is my Pearl cardigan. It's too bright actually. It's really nice and sunny out today, so I don't even know if I can properly show you what it looks like, but you guys know what it looks like. I'm gonna go look for some wooden buttons I think something that's like more of a dark wood color that's what I'm going for so hopefully I can find something of that sort and this is the I don't know why I keep trying to show you guys the button band because you guys clearly can't see it I'll show you later let's go I am very excited and hopefully I can film in there we'll see I got the buttons on and this is before blocking so if it doesn't look even that is why and most of the time I actually don't like how cardigans and sweaters and anything looks before blocking so we will see how this turns out my button band is super plush because I keep putting my ends that I'm weaving into the double knitted button band that's like my favorite way of weaving in ends if I can do that um, but the problem is that it just makes it very plush and I hope that with blocking it will kind of fix itself All right, so this is what we're working with Wait, it looks so cute <laughs> I love it. It looks so freaking good So you see how the buttons kind of do this to the button band. I really don't like that I'm hoping that this will block out which I think it will but this is what it looks like so far
Because I haven't blocked it yet, the button bend looks so silly and it's kind of separating at the ends, which is fine. I'm pretty sure this will block out and then everything will be flat and straight. And I think the shoulders are also sitting a tiny bit funny if you see here. <laughs> I don't really like that, but I think it will be okay once I block it. So yeah, let's go do that. This actually took three days to dry. I blocked it Monday night and right now it is Thursday afternoon, but I think it was dry this morning. I just didn't have time to put it on or anything. So I would say about two and a half to three days to dry. The button band was very thick. I think that's why it took so long to dry. Everything else was okay. Like this area was definitely fine. And oh, here are some sneak peeks of my future projects. These are two separate swatches I'm doing. This one is for the Flocon sweater, which I am test knitting right now. And this one right here that Wilfred <laughs> is trying to touch is actually for the Marie skirt. Also a test knit and that will be coming out very soon. So if you're interested, look out for that. <laughs> Wilfred's trying to touch where I'm touching. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about these two sweaters. I'm actually knitting this one right now, so I'm very excited for this. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this on and show you guys what it looks like. And what are you gonna do? So this is the full look of the sweater and I really really like how it looks. It's exactly how I imagined it. I wanted something that's more oversized, more boxy, but not too long. So as you can see here, it's still super cropped so it doesn't feel like it consumes me like a lot of oversized sweaters and cardigans make me feel. This makes me feel like it's still for my length but it is just meant to be oversized and I know a lot of people might not like things that are this oversized but I personally love it. I just wanted something super big and cozy and comfy and this is exactly what it is. So for the button band, originally I was talking about how it was separating and I thought that maybe it was because I haven't blocked it but as you can see here it is still separating, but not as bad as before. I did block it and I tried my best to block it flat uh, and straight, but I guess it didn't really work. So just keep that in mind. This does flare out a little bit. I'm not sure if there are any tricks to keep it centered. If you fix it yourself, it kind of stays, but you know, over the day, like with wear and stuff, when you do this, it's going to separate. I think it's just naturally how that happens with the button placement probably, or if you guys know, leave it in the comments below and we can have a discussion on why this is happening. But even when you look at Rui's photo on her Instagram, she also has buttons that flare out at the bottom. But yeah, just keep that in mind that this might happen. Earlier, I was talking about how the neck was sitting really weird and I didn't like how it came out, but actually after blocking, it's sitting much more naturally. One thing I will say is my sleeves are a little bit long for me. So if you can tell, it stops here. Let me show you. It does look a tiny, tiny bit long. Like if the sleeves were a little bit higher like this, I think that would be great. 
With that being said though, the sleeves are completely a me issue because I blocked it longer than the pattern. When I blocked it, I actually didn't follow the final dimensions that was on the pattern. I just let the yarn do its own thing. I laid it flat and whatever size it was, it was. The thing was, my sleeves were actually 5 centimeters longer than what the pattern had suggested. I just left it as is because I didn't really think much about it so I think I should have maybe tried to block it a tiny bit smaller or shorter. Overall, I would say this is a super fast pattern to knit up. If you have a week of stay at home vacation and you just want to knit something up really quickly, I definitely definitely suggest knitting this cardigan. You can definitely do it in a week if you have no other obligations and no other things to do. I also really recommend this Naro yarn. This is the Naro Madara and it feels super rustic so just keep that in mind. However, it's super light. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a thick heavy cardigan at all. Like it's very breathable and I think that's one of the great qualities of using natural wool. So I would definitely suggest you checking out this yarn. I like how it looks. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching you guys. This is the end of the video and I hope you guys like these knit vlogs where I bring you from winding up the ball of yarn to actually wearing the cardigan or the sweater or whatever I'm knitting. If you like these types of videos, there will be a lot more coming. I have a lot more things that I'm knitting up. Everything I'm knitting this year or sewing or any type of project, I'm turning it into a knit vlog. So look out for those if you're interested and make sure you are subscribed to my channel or you can follow me on Instagram if you want more more regular updates because I post a lot more on there. If you have any questions or anything, leave in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!